a missing mother leading federal agents to a South Florida landfill. It has been more than two months since Layla Cavett was last seen. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in Pompano Beach with where we stand on the investigation. Roy. Well, Nicole and Calvin, this was a massive search that happened right here at the Monarch Hill landfill today. Those federal investigators searching for any clues that would lead them to finding out exactly what happened to this 21-year-old mother. FBI agents and equipment visible from Powerline Road and from above in Sky 10, where more than a dozen agents in protective gear spent the day sifting through the Monarch Hill landfill. The massive search launched Thursday morning, all tied to the disappearance of Layla Cabot. The 21-year-old woman last spotted July 25th in these surveillance pictures from a nearby racetrack gas station off Hollywood Boulevard near State Road 7. Her two-year-old son Camden found the next day wandering alone outside of an apartment complex in Miramar. And I just told you I was the last person to see you. Detectives eventually turning their attention to Shannon Ryan, a self-proclaimed witch who on social media said Layla drove from Georgia to South Florida to sell him her white pickup truck. Police discovering he had the keys after her disappearance and made suspicious purchases for bleach and duct tape. Investigators also searching through his Lexus they suspect Cabot was in on the day she disappeared. In Ryan's arrest warrant we obtained, it says, among other things, law enforcement recovered shovels with small droplets of a red substance on them. An employee at the gas station also telling police they saw Ryan loitering around a back dumpster and noticed children's toys and women's clothing similar to what Cabot was last seen wearing. Because the contents had likely been dumped by the time federal investigators hauled it away, agents are now searching through this landfill for clues more than two months after Cabot's disappearance. And those federal investigators seem to have wrapped up for the evening. They will likely be back out here again tomorrow morning, and we will be sure to bring you any developments that come our way. For now here in Papano Beach, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.